Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we're taking yet another look at um, Star Trek New Horizons Total Conversion, which is a Total Conversion mod for Stellaris. Um, and we're currently, hopefully, at the end of a war with the Orions uh, Trade Union and the Romulan Star Empire. Um, so, what I'm going to do... Um, I see that we're currently at the maximum influence we can have, so maybe I'm going to try and claim some more star systems from the Romulans. Maybe... Let's just kind of do the next layer. Or the next... Um, yeah, not layer. Layer is the wrong term, but the next line of systems. Because I've already claimed all of the Orion ones, so let's make the claims. My fleets here are attacking those outposts, um, and then they'll be coming across here and cleaning up some of these, um, or taking back some of these outposts that have been taken by the Romulans, for example. There's also We also had an event, um, and there's a hostile fleet that's currently sitting in this system as well. Um, that I will need to take care of probably this episode, well, basically as soon as possible. And first fleet, okay, you're now moving. Second fleet, there's been a steady stream of ships that have been coming into the Basin Rift. So, um, so yep. Basically, we're going to have to deal with these as well. My second fleet has been in a non-stop battle for a while now. And I think it will be for a while. The Husnock and Moralia are at peace, that's good. There are elections coming up. What was my... I don't even remember what my... Food growth of plus 15 per month. We're currently at plus 25, so that should be fine. We also have a science ship that's going to facilitate Zindi Council Denoble and Unity Talks. Um, and something else that happened in the last episode was... Oh, we found another megastructure down here. So... Although it's a little bit weird. So this is the Disarray Ruined Array. And we had a um, ship research this, and then it was destroyed. But now it's saying it must be fully investigated and understood before effective repairs are made to its banks. So I sent another ship there. So it's kind of in orbit. But, um, yeah, we can't do anything. So I'm going to wait and see if, once we get to a thousand energy credits, we can actually repair this station. Because I thought our... Investigation failed because it destroyed the ship, but apparently not. Apparently it's fine. So let's... Oh, just kidding. So I'm trying to click and I can't. Um, so maybe this event is actually broken. So I'll make sure to mention that to the devs or see if anyone else has had this kind of problem. So we can unlock fusion torpedoes or sarium torpedoes or the Ares and Miranda class ships. Um, I'm going to go for the fusion torpedo because I don't want to make yet another class of ship redundant in the middle of a war. So my NX, NX class vessels, which are in the first fleet, uh, I take that back. I think they must be in the second fleet. Hang on. Yeah, the NX class explorers, for example. Those are now obsolete, so I will have to replace those very soon. So let's go for the fusion torpedoes. And association. Chiliak was given association status by the Favorable Compact, which is the Delton Union. So they recently fought a war, and the Delton Union and their allies, so the Saurian League, for example, forced the Chiliak to become. Um, no, we won't relent in the negotiations. To become coalition builders. So that's why they're now part of the that coalition. So, come on, destroy that. Yay. Now let's take back Tesnia. Oh, Gertrude has been... So our resource production has improved and we've gained a thousand unity, that's great. Also, uh, Ert Erhard has been elected as Prime Minister. So let's see our Prime Minister. Anomaly Research Seed, plus 33. And also, she's charismatic, so edict cost and duration. Um, have been improved as well. Great. Now let's see. You're there. 
So this science ship, I'm not sure if I should just kind of leave it there. Let's upgrade, and then if I were to say all my exploration, I assume it would start going somewhere up here. So I'm going to leave you there for a while, also in case something else comes up. Oh, actually, no, what I will do is have you, rather than just upgrade, let's just survey the system. Let's, I guess, upgrade and also have you survey the system. Lower your shields and prepare to be assimilated. So we've met the Borg. Mm. So we will not surrender. Resistance is futile. Okay, so we've met the Borg Collective. And that's in the Augustine system. So, pause the game. The Borg, ooh. The Borg Collective are really expanding. The Borg will come again. It is inevitable. And they're, yeah, they're really overwhelming. Um, their fleet power is pretty amazing. So, we will have to deal with them probably sooner rather than later. Well, probably kind of soon-ish. Kobali, okay. So we've also discovered an archaeological, an archaeological site. Underground ruins, a number of intact underground chambers have been identified. Where are these? These are on, oh, Vadwar Prime. Oh, so this, I see. This archaeological site, if you dig into it, you might discover things, of course, but also what might happen is that you release the Vadwar, who are a in Voyager. They were found to be in stasis chambers, they were released, and they are an imperialistic empire that was, um, that had lots of different subspace tunnels uh, and tunneling technology and controlled a vast empire over the Delta Quadrant. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. So not much we can do about that because the Borg control it. The Shelliac Corporate have joined the Favorable Compact, that makes sense. Zenkethi has declared the Ferengi Nation their rival. Who am I rivaling, by the way? Me personally, who am I rivaling? Uh, keep to the peace. Maybe let's go. Here we go. So I am rivaling the Orion Trade Union and the Romulans, but I don't have any other rivals. Never forget the 35th rule of acquisition. Peace is good for business. Do not interfere with our... Okay, well, let's continue on. I'm just wondering who I should rival next. The Sanar? So I like the Klingons. And they like me. How am I doing with the Duranium Plates? 3,000. Okay. So, second fleet, you're now just sitting there. Great, why don't you go to a passive defense stance and build this mining station so we can get some more um, Tobolin. And then I'll have it retreat to Seoul. Can I... Hmm. So this station is at... We can't see that station. I'm wondering if it's worth... So, these systems have been taken by Tel the Teller Prime. I'm wondering if it's a good idea to move... Yeah, why don't we try and take some more um, f systems? Can we make any more claims? Actually, I'm not going to. At the... Actually, let's... Yeah, Belak. Fine. And... Yeah, Belak. An unidentified, unidentified Empire's government has decided to join the Interspecies Medical Exchange Program. Understood. So, Second Fleet, how are you doing? Ah, look, you're in combat again. The First Fleet has taken back the Tesnia system, and now we have to take back our own Starbase. Oh no, sorry, the Beta Z Starbase. So, the recent death of noted leader Franco D'Antoni has fe been felt across the United Federation of Planets. We can re-register some of these ships in his name. So let's go for the USS 
Jemison and rename that uh, in Franco de D'Antoni's memory. So if we go here, um, the Leif Erikson, US Mercury, Miranda, no, oh, actually none of them have been renamed in his, oops, so it looks like that event might be a little bit broken. And look, the second fleet is again in combat, and it's destroying transport ships. And hopefully very soon it will destroy the, or take over the starbase. I guess what I'll have it do is have this construction ship just sit here in the system for a while. So you're taking back that starbase. You're taking over this starbase. That's good. So I'm also going to reinforce my fleets now, while I'm sitting here waiting for it. So, a Walker and a Nimitz class will be built at Starbase 20 and sent to the second fleet. Oh, we have no scientist here. So, do we have any engineering scientists? Nope. Can we recruit any? Also, no. That's okay, let's recruit you. Um, yeah. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna switch this physics and the engineering research. So, expertise particles. So here we need you, and then here we need you. Great, okay. And the demos, okay, you finish there. I'm going to pull you back to the Desica Starbase. Looks like we're doing well. More research is finished. Trust cap plus 25, or medical complexes, which we still can't upgrade because we don't have Cordrazine, or the Cultural Plaza. Let's go for the Cultural Plaza. More ships. Oh, but we're gonna have a ship join us very soon. Great. So, you merge. Yeah, I guess then attack there. It's okay if the NX class is destroyed. Destroy the destroy everything, if possible. The NX class was destroyed. Okay, that's fine. So in the fleet manager, I can now reduce the NX class again. So first fleet, what are you? Oh, you're fine. So can we upgrade there? No, but we can go there and upgrade. Then come back, go to Ursa Majoris. Here, 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 and then finally attack the Vulcan, and we'll finally kind of clean up this space. That would be very nice. Also, let's have my transport fleet. The Bajorans are trying to take back this starbase, so thank you very much. What I would like for you to do is to move up to Desica, because then we can try and take... Oh, there's no planet here. Yes, there is. Sharon. Armies. Several. Okay. So stay there for a little bit. Wait, Tau Seti is under bombardment. Oh yes, from the hostile aliens. That makes sense. So, the Morelli states broke off their commercial pact with Kobali. 
Mars has finished its construction. Let's go. Planet summary. Oh, we can upgrade this building, so we're definitely going to do that. Let's look for the rest of our colonies and upgrade anything we possibly can. Nothing else. Okay. New research. So we can now go for particle phasers 2, assault phaser, or productivity. I guess let's go for particle phaser 2, because that will be finished in two months. So, you're upgrading, great, and then take back those systems. How are you doing? Oh, you're going to die, I think. Yep, okay, you failed. Okay, then what we will do, the second fleet is sitting here. Second fleet, move over there to intercept those ships. Our mediation dispute has been a success. Both parties increase their trust of each other, and also of me, too. Yay. So, unpause, and keep going. So, this fleet, once you go to all of those... I'll ha actually, I'll have you sit there and repair. That will be good. Research is complete. Let's research... Ooh! Listening posts. This will allow us to then eavesdrop on our neighbours. Um, Andorian Phase of 3, or Warp Field... Planetary warp field nullifier, planetary IFTL inhibitors, sorry, FTL inhibitors, and a warp inhibitor which we can install on. Don't know, but I have some on a ship, but I'm not sure if it's a specific class of ship or not. And I'll stay on the research just because these two are about to finish. Maybe not. Fleet combat, okay. What are you? Actually, you are a shipyard, so if I say upgrade, yes, perfect. And now the research has been complete, actually, so now let's say first, sorry, cancel the first fleet, now upgrade your ships, then go there, there, and then to Vulcan. To Vulcan. And then the second fleet, let's go upgrade, and I'll wait to reinforce the fleet for a second. So Azati, you're there. Okay, interesting. How are you doing? So we could probably invite you to the coalition very soon. New research, deassimilate. Ooh, deassimilation policy. Advanced drones will be deassimilated. Moderate risk of hostile reactivation, or deassimilation deactivated when necessary. Low risk of hostile reactivation. Let's do this. Now that we've met the Borg, we're going to have some issues with them. And for my second research, I can increase hull points of our research and mining stations by 100%. Nibbler refining, industrial production, or the Pergium mine. Let's do the, the Pergium mine. Because that's, again, that's been around for a while. It's technology we probably should have researched already. So. How are you doing? You're upgrading. Once this one gets to 100%, I'll have it engage this fleet. Like so. ship is that? That is a, I guess that's the Telus class, and the others are Rhea, and that's the Telus class as well. Please destroy the Rhea's. Ah, so I guess we won't finish the war before we can try and review their ascension process, because we can't, we can't actually bring them in if we're at war. So let's, there's no more research I think we can do. I guess we can react to another Offer to mediate a dispute between, let's say, oh, the Bullion, our confederated Akali planets, and the 
to marry in unity. Let's do that. Approve the proposals, and then Necro. You're here. You're surveying. Okay. Let's this science ship. Let's send them this way, because I think either we need to go into the Tamarian unit, the Tamarian unity, or to the Alkali sector. So either way, heading in this direction is kind of safe. Understood. Assist. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a great system as well. So, the Devorian Imperium's government has decided to join. Great. More research. The Progeon mines are finished. So now, Dicobalt charges, armor hit points, and Trellium plating. Or the city. Let's go for the Trellium plating. How are we doing? We have one Trellium D resource. Okay. Where are you? No orders. Ah, great. So we've now finished. So let's have you. The construction ship here. Oh. Build an outpost. And... Let's move you to Orion. You're here. I guess let's have you upgrade and automatically explore. This science ship upgrade as well and then automatically explore. You're still there. 500, 200. So maybe it's a good idea. Because there is a planet here with 12 populations, so probably also has a larger army. Because it's the Romulans. Let's go here. Or actually upgrade the fleet. What needs to be upgraded? Don't know. Let's see. Oh, all of those could be upgraded. Also, I'm going to reinforce these fleets. Reinforce. Actually, let's cancel this. First fleet, I'm going to specifically... We can't afford to reinforce them. Okay. That's fine. Let's reinforce this fleet then with the angle class that's missing. Oh, we can d build more things on our colony worlds. So this is a food world. So actually let's build a frontier hospital. And this is this one does not have a specific um, specialization. So actually let's go for a, a hospital world here as well. Oh, sorry, not hospital world, a um, Frontier Hospital, Mars has finished its construction, Earth has as well, but we can upgrade that building. Philat. So the rest of these are fine, they're as high as we can go. So thank you. So the Clutches has declared Tholian their rivalry, and the Etholians have declared the Antican Pack their rivalry. Great. So, first fleet. Diplomatic incident. A series of ill-timed and offensive lead communications from the Saurian lead diplomatic presence on Earth have resulted in a substantial deterioration in relations between our two governments. While some in the intelligence community believe this to be the work of a foreign power, Prime Minister Gertrude Erhard is dismissive of that explanation and has condemned the Saurian lead's government handling of the situation. Oh, this is unfortunate. So I have to read it. Basically, what has happened is that... Um, the either the Romulans or the Cardassians have implicated the Saurian League. So our relations have have gone down slightly, and we've lost um, Ritvik. So we can rename the Griggs, the Dyson, or the Omaha. Let's rename the Griggs. So, why haven't we declared peace yet? Come on, people. And we're fighting this starbase. Ah! So 
But what's actually happening is the Orions took this back, but I control the planet. I see. I didn't realize that we, uh, that I had lost this. That's okay. Admiral has died. So. Which fleet was that? That was this fleet. Let's assign this other Admiral. And this fleet is currently taking back that starbase. Great. And Ursa Majoris has been taken back, so let's go to... Uh, sorry, 61 has been taken back, so let's go to 47. And then to the Romulan... Oh, sorry, to the Vulcan sector. And you're upgrading. How are you doing? Ah, we should probably move... 384. Once this gets to 100, I will move to... move here. Okay, oh, and that one's at 100, meaning this walker class will probably upgrade soon. Actually, I will just let it upgrade and then um, go to Zeta Virginis. So we can now, um, we now have a new policy. We can deactivate or try to um, undo the assimilation process for drones. So we can also unlock, so more research. Again, we can't do anything with medical complexes at the moment. We could either clear a tile or have the Colonial Bureau and increased ethics pull. Let's do that. And we're about to get the Trillium Plating upgrade. So, we can then go for Active Armor Plating layer, the Miranda and Ares class ships, or the Nebula Refinery, or any of these cruisers. Uh, let's go for these Ares and Miranda class, because I think the war is almost over. So then we can upgrade our ships without any kind of problem. And yeah, now we have more fighting issues. Tavaro class. Okay, so that's that done. An upgrade? There's only two ships I think that need to be upgraded. How is this going down here? These ships are engaging with the help of the... So, second fleet, once you've finished upgrading, go to Seda Virginius without delay. So this is now mine. Let's also get everything that I can. Okay, that's that finished. Then Ursa Majoris shall be mine again. So whatever happened to assist food growth of 15, or currently above that. Let's stop tracking this, but we... hmm. So it looks like maybe the Temerian Unity or our allies rejected our offer of assistance. Oh, we can, we're meeting more people. So, you're upgrading and taking a long time to do about it. We've met the Herogians, so that's excellent. I'm wondering if I should lay some more claims. I guess let's lay claims to these kinds of systems. And the Nimbus system. Let's do that.
It will lose a lot of influence, but we're making so much influence anyway that we don't really need to worry about that. So you need to reinforce your fleet again. Coming from Starbase 1. Starbase 20. Okay. So you're doing fine. Where are you going? Oh, you're now automatically exploring somewhere. Oh, all the way around there. Okay. And so that's been settled. Let's go and defend Terex. And I guess what I'm just going to do is have my fleet then go to Gamma. Oh. So go here. Devlin system. Maybe Romy? 82 versus 428. I think you'll be fine. We've had another death of Jonathan Archer, so the captain of the USS Enterprise in the Star Trek show Star Trek Enterprise has now died. So we, let's rename the Neptune after Jonathan Archer. So I think, yes, actually some of these ships are the ones that are being renamed. So for example, here was the Francesco D'Antoni, um, who died before. Uh, Nicole Stott has also been uh, renamed here. So some of these ships are the ones being renamed. So if we go to First Fleet, for example, something here, Rodney Reynolds is here, for example. First contact day edict has expired and capacity overload has expired. So let's redo those edicts. So um, factions, claims, leaders, I always forget where edicts are, they're here. First contact day and capacity overload. Because I have tons of luxuries and tons of deuterium, so that's fine. More hostile fleets. 504, 668. Well, let's take this system. Research complete. More research is finished. So that's the planet. That's the warp inhibitors. We can unlock a cybernetic crew. Let's do that. So the Enterprise, which is over here. Why don't we recruit another scientist and send you exploring? And this science ship, let's send you back to... Actually, let's just keep you there for now. So first fleet has taken back the system. Great. Let's also have you put in for upgrades, which can't be done at the Vulcan. Okay, weird. So go there and then go to Ad Leonis. And then what, with that, with this, uh, once that becomes under our control, nothing in this war, nothing will be controlled by the Orions nor the Romulans within our borders. Although it looks like we're going to have to, yeah, save this outpost. So this outpost is now mine. And the starbase. Oh, and it has a. I could upgrade these ships again. Actually, being so close to Romulus, should I just attack Romulus? Let's do that. I'm going to do that. Can I claim Romulus as well? I'm going to claim Romulus. Yep. So let's upgrade. Upgrade. And then once you're finished upgrading, literally go to Romulus and take, take out... Oh, we've lost Clara Garrett. Let's re replace the USS 
um, Whitson. And we need a scientist who does society research, which there are none, but there's one here. So thank you for that. You're upgrading, keep going. Our colony worlds are fine. Again, there's this fleet over Tau Ceti, but that's it's not actually doing anything at the moment. It's just sitting there, occupying the system. Let's piracy suppression, improved starport output, army training, piracy suppression plus one. I guess let's go for that. We can now... Oh! We're getting into the discovery era, it seems, or closer to towards that um, that point in time, because Philippe Georgiou, who was uh, Commander Burnham's commanding officer um, in Discovery, has just appeared, and also was the head of the Terran Empire in the Mirror Universe. We can build another um, building, so let's build... Can we go for... Let's go for a trading center, I think, because again, we have tons of latinum that we can start getting rid of. Not getting rid of, but trading for energy and things like that. So, for... I think I'm going to build another city on Earth. I'm also... look at decisions. Can't do anything there yet. Oh, we have another tradition. Trade value plus five. Trained officer production, which we don't need, and crime. I guess let's do the crime and stability by five. So I think, yeah, we have a little bit of crime, but Starfleet Medical reduces it by five. Yeah, so I need to start building some police stations on those planets that have some crime, but I'm sure we'll be fine. So again, we still can't incorporate the Union. Let's mediate a dispute against between the Bolian League declared. and the Saurian League, for example, and approve the proposals. Let's see what happens. The Gorn and the Husnok are now at war. So. Now it's our time to make a move against Romulus, and we didn't lose that system. So they both accepted the offer to mediate, great. So let's send this science ship. This science ship to go to Boliax and do that research. And it will be there in 1020 days. And the time limit is 1433 days, so it will be fine. Let's also have this fleet be reinforced, or maybe let's reinforce first fleet. So where is that being built? First fleet is being built in Starbase 1, okay, in the Sol system. And now, I guess we can finally see what happens when we take a strategic target. So it was I was told oh, a few okay. episodes ago that we needed to take the Romulus system. And I'm wondering if it's just the system or whether we need to take the planets as well. What I'm going to do is go to Earth and build some more armies. So recruit... Let's have Earth do for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And on Mars, let's recruit. I think these are all the same. Oh, Antosians are only 2.7, so maybe I will. So Ferengi, Andorian, Tellarite, Betazoid, Delton, Human. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do that. And then I can use those transport ships and have them start invading places. 
let's have let's you wait there for right now. How are these how is this planet? Probably very well guarded by armies. Yeah, so let's let's wait. So how are we doing here? I think we'll take the star base. Yeah, we definitely cannot achieve the war goals. But we could have status status quo peace. But I guess we are really gonna have to wait until we are at a hundred percent um exhaustion or exhaustion before we can actually do anything. And by that I mean before our allies decide to really actually declare peace. So we've managed to capture the target system, we've managed to obtain a large amount of alloys that appears to have been salvaged from our own ships lost during the war. These will add to our stockpile and will aid our war efforts. Great. So and putting a serious dent in our own foes resources. So we have a thousand Okay, what I'm going to do is, so we currently have 227 influence, we're about to get a thousand, which is the maximum. So I'm going to claim some more systems to get rid of the influence that we have. Okay, so we'll only lose basically three, and then say excellent. And then I'll claim some more systems, so let's go for the Garrid, Relva, Algeron, and Gamma Hydre. Let's do that. So, this is great, Romulus is ours. So, new research, we can remove volcanoes, the psycho neuromedical complex or the service facilities. Let's just go for the facilities because they've been there forever and we haven't done anything, and also improve our research as well. So, this fleet, we can build two ships. Let's reinforce all. So Starbase 1 will be building the two ships for Fleet 1, and Starbase 20 is building oh, our first crossover class. Uh, sorry, crossfield class. That's great. Construction complete. So anywhere on our colonies we can do anything with? Nope, the armies are still going. There's the Romulan 5th fleet, here's the 3rd fleet. I think, well, it looks like my allies are going to take this fleet, or sorry, this starbase without me. Fine by me. So, you... You're... I guess you're currently repairing? Doesn't look like it though. Oh yeah, you are. So what I'm going to have to do is have them jump through a bunch of these systems, then Nimbus and Garrett. Because if we look at the Romulans themselves, are the super yeah, they now have a pathetic force, so that's good. So let's start jumping. I have to Pavonis, then Tarot, then Valet, then Nimbus, then Garrett. Then Epsilon Pavonis. And Dakala can be. can build another building. So let's also go for a trading center here. And can we build any more ships? We can build another ship. But I'm gonna wait actually, because the crossover class is 24. We're about to go over our limit, I think. What I can actually do is go to... So First Fleet has taken over. Meji, Walker... Let's... Yeah, you're going to heal, or to repair, I mean. Great. Shukar... Okay. Production targets has finished, and research grants. So let's do research grants and production targets. Great. So we've redone those. I mean, as in, 
made the uh, edicts or re um, renewed. That's the word I'm looking at. Renewed those edicts. New research, productivity, power hub. That looks good. Let's do power hubs. And carbon reaction fusion power core. The Sankethi broke off the research agreement with the Orion Trade Union. The Kravik has declared war on the Prelor. They're historic enemies anyway. So the Prelor are here, and the Kravik. Oh, is here. The Kravik and Prelor are historic enemies anyway, so that makes perfect sense. Second fleet. Ah, so we now have the heavy cruiser prototype. We can streamline production, reduce costs, or reinforce the hull. I'm going to reinforce the hull. And we have the Ares and Miranda, and that means the Hoover class, the Cardenas class, and the Nimitz heavy cruiser class are now have been retired, which means I now have fleets that I need to completely re, uh, yeah, re build and update from scratch. So new research. Um, the Ivadin Thruster, Cities, or Gravimetric Torpedoes. Let's go for the, the City upgrade. So in this, I think the Engel... Wait, let's go for... So add design. So the Engel class, the Maggie, the Miranda class, the Walker class, the Ares class, and the Crossfield class. So of this fleet, the... Uh, sorry, the Walker is still there, but the... Okay. So the, only the Nimitz class have been... Okay, that's not bad. Let's actually see what's being built. Is If anything is being built that is a Nimitz class yet, let's cancel that. And what I'm going to do is reduce the Nimitz class down. And here, any Nimitz class? There are two Nimitz class, but there's nothing we can do about that. Let's reinforce all. And... Yeah, perfect. So we'll get a cross, uh, cross field and a... forget an angle class. So that one's ours as well. Kokoroli can build something else. Let's have you also go for trading center, and that means that we should then have no more Latinum reserve left, which will be fine. So thank you for telling me that my fleets are out of date again. At the moment, I'm going to move... Oh, Zeta Virginis. Something... Oh, I don't control this. Armies... There are a lot of armies here. What I'm going to do is move my... This transport fleet... So enter the orbit. Enter orbit here. Um, and then basically wait, and then I'll send my other fleet to meet up with it, and have 30 armies invade that planet, then go here, and then go there, then Romy, then Romulus, um, and just kind of bounce around whenever, wherever and whenever possible. So, research. Oh, there's also a megastructure there. Interesting. So, monthly society research, plus five, and unlock the interstellar university. That looks great. I'm actually going to do that. So that will increase my research, which I know I can then definitely upgrade the um, Cambridge University on Earth again. And another outpost that's going to fall to me. The USS Miranda is missing in action. Ah, one of the science vessels. More declared. So the NX class and the Walker class. And war declared against the Borg and the Norcadian. Please tell me that the Norcadians have allies. Devor, Imperium. Okay, well maybe that will actually do something. The problem we is will the, adapt. the Borg have an overwhelming fleet power, and I definitely need to counteract that as soon as possible. So let's upgrade the ships, and also let's reinforce this fleet, and send you up here. So I think definitely in the next episode, what I'm going to do is, uh, oh, we've been insulted by the Antican Pax, okay. New phone, who dis? 
what I'm definitely going to do is try and incorporate as many of, in the next episode, incorporate as many of my allies as possible and join, um, the join this um, coalition as well, try and incorporate them, and really build up against, with the Borg Collective in mind. So Capella can build, so let's build, you're doing a trading center, actually Let's build another trading center. We're currently at five latinum. By the time this trading center builds, we'll probably be at six latinum. Um, so this won't be a problem. And if we are in minus one for latinum for a few rounds, that's not also that's also not a problem. So you're building the advanced cruiser. These the two advanced cruisers here. Earth has f both of those have. Oh! Earth can build a few more armies. Let's do two more Vulcans. Nope, only 18. That's why. Two humans? Let's do human and Andorian. That sounds good. This construction ship can do nothing. So, do nothing. Let's also go to the market and reduce our... Let's remove our um, monthly trade of supplies. And for this, for the, I mean, for the dilithium, let's increase that by 30. Hopefully that will kind of balance out the energy credit loss. We've been insulted by the Gorn. Yeah. Celia declared the Tholians their rivals. Dalton Union entered a commercial pact with the Brunelli Empire, and you finished that mining station that I told you to build. We also have a lot of trade around here now, that's good. Can we... we still can't welcome them into the Federation yet. I guess let's react to yet another galactic... no, not react to a conflict, but offer to mediate a dispute. Oh, we're currently doing that. Expand diplomatic outreach to neighbours. Let's go for the... Saurian League and medium intensity. Yeah, medium intensity diplomacy. Like us. Which you already kind of do. But like us enough so that when uh, when this happens, like when I have taken all of these um, other smaller allies into the Federation, I can then quickly join your coalition. So excellent. You're also moving up there. Also great. Actually, just stay in this... Stay in the system. What I'm going to do then is tell you to um, upgrade and then eventually reinforce as well. Oh, research finishes. Research is finished. Dicobalt charges, nuclear mine, sarium torpedo. I guess dicobalt charges, that's something we should probably research. That intercept is mine, as in destroyed. How many armies do they have? No armies. They can be invaded quite easily. Good to know. Mediation was a success. So they like us. Head to the soul system. Nope, head to the soul system. And then I'll tell you to upgrade. New research, great. So now we can engineering crop fields, protein growth house. Well, those are both nice. Improve trade. Oh, increases planetary trade value by one percent for each for every district. Let's do that. So that will give us more latinum, which is great because then we can sell off the latinum for energy credits. And our armies are almost finished, so then I can have them kind of march across the. The Romulan Star Empire. Well, ironically, using their star, star bases to upgrade and reinforce my fleets. Oh, I love the irony. 
can also reinforce ships, three ships, so let's do that. It's for the second fleet, and they're all going to come from Starbase 20. You stay here, and I want you to upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, I can't, that's right. But what I can do, because, yeah, these are the, okay. Go to Epsilon Pavonis, and then Norkan. And I've claimed all of these systems. Oh, Tyr looks very nice. Let's claim Tyr as well. And Balu. Because why not? And how are we doing for our war goals? Yeah, I mean, we definitely can't do that, but we could automatically settle the status quo. But I guess that's not something they want to do, so I'm not going to do it. Once this war is over, I'm also then going to yeah remove these the outdated ships, as I said. More research. Dicobalt Warhead, Nebula Refinery, or the Synthetic Dilithium Manufacturing. Let's go for that. And we also have here, Coherent Phasers, Particle Phaser 3, or Increase the Commercial District and Energy Production. Let's go for Particle Phaser 3. And that's now mine. Let's go to Norcan. So, oh, sorry. How is the second fleet doing? It needs all of its... yeah. Frigates which are coming. How are you doing? The crossfields are coming. Okay. That's the frigate. Oh, this... no, that's the first fleet. Of the... oh, the Vulcan first fleet. So where is my crossfield? Ah, here we go. And it has 860 military power just by itself. That's great. And Vilat. Let's upgrade all of these buildings to power hubs. I guess I can do that across my empire now, so let's do that. Um, hmm. So let's do a planetary warp field nullifier. Oh, my naval capacity is quite high. So once, yeah, you go there, go directly there as well. Why is that saying that's my first fleet? That's not my first fleet. Oh, yes, it is. It do, because I'm an idiot. This is my first fleet. So let's continue on. Once you go there, also go there, attack Gamma Hydra, Riddick, and Quan. And you go there, and then Relva, Elgeron, Tyr, and Balu. So how are my transport fleets? These fleets are done. So let's have you merge and go here. Actually, one, two, three. Merge. Do you all merge the same one? Yes. So once you go here, then land there, then I'll have it, I guess, go there, 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 there. Go back to Nokan, go to Nokan. So we'll then have a lot of targets to hit, basically, with our force. Also, I think I'm going to sell something at the market, like, for example, 500 Latinum, so that way we can really boost our... Thing, and I need to reduce, at the moment, the amount of dilithium that I'm selling. Construction 
Mission complete. Research complete. Research increased trade. So we can trust increase our trust cap by 25. Army training or wildlife. Let's go for the trust cap. Second fleet has yeah, got its stuff. First fleet's doing its thing. Then also go to Beals. And I guess Camarena. Oh, we have some resistance. Aha. So let's have you go back and then go to Relva, then to Alderon, then to Tyr, then to Barlow. Yep, and destroy these fleets. And we're meeting more aliens. Yay. Oh, physics research, productivity, monthly influence. Let's go for the phasers, the different phaser types. An alien empire has established and we've met the Trave Alliance. They're in the Delta Quadrant, I believe. Yes, they were... Um, Part of the Voyager story arc with the um, uh, the Kazon who are around here in this area. How? Oh, the Borg really are. We are the Borg. The really are taking over the Devor Imperium as well. So we're gonna unlock the Kelvin class. A more powerful light cruiser, increase cities, or the let's increase our number of cities that we can build. Six fleet, what are you doing? You're an Engel class. Six fleet, I think, should be going here because you don't have any. You have one Engel class ship, so second and six fleet should really be. Oh, so 6th Fleet should be merging with 2nd Fleet, I think. Migration Treaty. I'm gonna wait, yep. So, merge. Migration Treaty. Oh, the Zindi Council. Yes, please. Very happy to have Zindi. 1st Fleet. Okay. So, how are you doing? You're coming along nicely. You're a crossfield class as well. Oh, we can. This is the children of Tama, so we can now finally fund the study to understand them. So, research. And an insult from the Gerudian Republic because I'm occupying their space. Makes sense. Complete combat status. Come on, we're almost there. A team of human linguists have made significant progress understanding the Tamarian language. Our universal translators have been updated with an idiomatic translation module to convey the meaning behind their speech. Excellent. And we have a ship in Bajor. Let's have you ship in Bajor, upgrade, and then automatically explore. If we go to Bajor, that's the type of station we have. So we do not have any kind of Cardassian military stations. But that's fine. Oh, the Shephalites also have a galactic form. Cool. No, I want to talk to the Shephalites. So we have association status. Maybe we can invite them into our coalition soon as well. So... Some fleet's been upgraded somewhere. Oh, yes, that's right, the uh, science vessel. Upgrade again, and then automatically explore. So, second fleet, how are you doing? You're fine. First fleet, how are you doing? You're also fine. So, transport fleet, that's really where it's at at the moment. Yep, so let's land the armies on Zeta Virginis. 
<sighs> let's mediate a dispute between the Bajorans. Uh, let's go back between the Benzorians and the, I guess, Klingon Empire? Or, no, and the Bajorans, that's fine. Approve the proposals. Actually, just stay around here, because I might just have to go to the to the Bajoran system, which would be great. If not, you stay at Bernard Star, don't go any farther. Why is it going to take you so long? Yeah, okay, 31 days. At the two parties, home worlds. Oh yes, it's down here. So you can go here, and then automatically explore, and you can just automatically explore already. First fleet is there, second fleet. Ah, transport ships. How are you doing? 24 dead. Or 24... Okay. So I am losing armies that I'm going to have to replace. Oh, also, didn't I get a policy? Policy. Let's check my policies. Active study prohibited. Resettlement prohibited. First contact peaceful. Open border. Mixed economy. Yeah. Wealth creation. Consumer benefits. Hmm. Let's leave that as it is for now. No population control, slavery or purging. University hospitals, balanced studies. Ah, de assimilation. Do we want de activation? De assimilation or advanced de assimilation? Advanced de assimilation, I think. And gender equality, of course. So we will win this battle, but kind of at a at somewhat of a cost to our forces. So I only have 22 armies left. So I started off with 30, and now only 22. Let's go here and take over this planet. This planet again, though, has many armies. So while I'm here, let's go to. Epsilon Indy, uh, sorry, I need to go to the planet that's here. Vilat, armies, and recruit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Where's my next closest planet? Oh, actually, is in the Sol system. So, back on Mars and Earth, recruit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on Earth, where are you? Earth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that should be good. On Mars, I also have a building slot and an upgrade slot, so I'm going to do that. And let's build on Mars our planetary warp field um, nullifier. That just, I believe works for the entire system. You're here. So let's have you upgrade. And what I'm actually going to do is remove the Nimitz and remove the Walker and the NX Explorer. So what that means then is third fleet is my decommissioned fleet. Yeah, because I can't add any Nimitz. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to de disband this fleet. So, wait, decline. Why is that fleet power so high? Maybe unpause. Yeah, so first fleet, you're fine. Oh, you have a Nimitz as well. So first fleet. Let's get rid of your Nimitz. The rest of you can upgrade, though. 
So fifth fleet and third fleet should merge. Nimitz, Walker. Oh, the Walker class I think can still upgrade. Hold on two seconds. Walker class is still there. So actually from the third fleet, remove the walkers and the walker class and the, sorry, this second fleet should merge, sorry. Hold on, I think I screwed that up. So walker class. Nimitz class, remove the Nimitz class vessel. You have a Nimitz, remove those. So second fleet and sixth fleet need to then be merged. And then you upgrade and eventually you'll reinforce. So the Nimitz and the NX cannot be. So I'm going to disband this fleet because I'm over my fleet limit, my naval capacity limit, and yeah, it needs to happen. And these ships are out of date anyway, so agree. And hopefully I'm now below, I'm very close to at least. So fifth fleet is an also a Nimitz class vessel, and I'm going to disband this fleet. And now I will be under my naval capacity. And new research, trust cap, artifact, artifact showcase and trading. Oh, let's do that. Maybe I can then sell, although I don't know if modern artifacts are really in um, in Star Trek New Horizons, but we can see. More declared. The Sheliak has declared war on the Ferengi Alliance. So how are Sharon armies hmm. okay So I'm definitely losing a lot of ships basically is this going to be costly invasions all the way not surprising Come on, just end the war. We're at 99% and we own everything. 100% war exhaustion. Again, we can't do anything because we're not the main defender. An alien empire has the Antigen Shoals have been met. So great to meet you. And, oh, the war is now over. It looks like, oh, crap. And I own all of that. And, oh, wow, okay. I didn't realize I was going to own everything. I thought I was going to, but I guess with the claims is the reason I own everything. Whew, okay, so new faction has gained um, traction, calling back to Earth. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put in a cut here. There's way too much here um, for me to actually, yeah, continue on. So thanks again for watching. We finally finished the this war against the Orions and the Romulans, so, which is wonderful. And yeah, now, now basically I need to consolidate and build up and, well, probably deal with the Borg threat somewhat soon. Um, or build up with keeping, keeping in mind that the Borg threat is very real and um, coming on its way down. So that's not going to be fun, but it's something we're going to have to do. So thanks for watching. Um, if you liked, please subscribe and press the like button. Um, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Bye! Hello everyone, thanks once again for watching this episode of Star Trek New Horizons Into the Mirror Darkly. If you enjoyed watching and you liked what you saw, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll try and bring out videos whenever possible. 
And yeah, I hope to see you again in the future. So take care and ta-ta for now.